Hello everyone, welcome back to the Infra Speaks. Today is Monday, September the 11th, 2023. And on this channel, we do readings for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and uh, sometimes we do general readings, but for the most part, we represent the Leo gang, okay? Um, all right, and I am a proud Leo son myself, so we've already um, prayed over our cards. So let's get into the reading for today. So top of the week to everybody, and I hope you are being very productive this week, okay? You're off to a productive start. To my returning channel subscribers, welcome back to my new subbies. Appreciate you and love you and my channel members. You know y'all the real MVPs. Okay, let's get into this Leo reading. All right. <laughs> we got some truth coming out here. Okay, somebody wants to make a, a very uh, insightful or is in an insightful energy. You're speaking the truth. You're speaking your mind to resolve some issues regarding selfishness and greed. This could be someone in your energy. Uh, we've got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck indicating generally a very strong connection. Could be a soulmate or twin flame type of union at the bottom of the deck here so you're speaking some truth regarding greed and materialism and some mistakes so you're just you 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 just feeling like hey it's, it's time for you to stand in your power and to stand in your truth right now thank you spirit okay we got the six of cups in the reverse here so there's been some um strife uh, a sense of unforgivingness um, some cynicism. So you're speaking out against someone who's created this type of misalignment in your life. Um, they've caused you, someone's caused you some setbacks, setbacks financially with this nine of pentacles here. And uh, they've been very selfish. They've taken credit for things that you've done and you're just really pissed off about it. You're, you're just talking you know, speaking your mind about someone who's been very, very materialistic. They've been freeloading off of you, taking advantage of you and others, um, and oftentimes we'll have our Leo stand up not just for themselves, but for, for others who have been disadvantaged, and this is against uh, someone in the Queen of Swords energy. They're very cruel. They don't care how they talk to people. They say anything, very flippant, very low down and dirty energy here. And uh, you're standing in your truth and speaking against them. Either this is you or someone in your energy. And it could be a divine masculine involved in this situation as well. Because we've got the emperor in the reverse. Now when our divine masculine is in the reverse, he's coming in backwards. He's coming in and he's not a good father. Very, not very well. with Doesn't do well with leadership and taking care of the household. So I'm getting that this may very well be an ex-spouse for some of you or ex-lover or ex-relationship because we had that um, two of cups that we saw at the bottom of the deck earlier in the Divine Masculine. Thank you, Spirit. Can you elaborate on this Queen of Swords in the reverse? Thank you. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This could represent your energy. You're very methodical, very clever, very efficient and responsible. So you are um, getting ready to communicate this to a group of people, maybe family members or people at work, but you're about to expose the hell out of somebody. We got this Eight of Swords, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. And uh, it is in the reverse. So there's a whole lot of lot of frustration and disputes that are arising that you have information on and you're about to tell it. It could be uh, an employment dispute or something of that nature. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. We got the King of Cups here. So somebody's being very crafty and considerate. This is a person that is emotionally mature as well. So we've got a few people in this energy. Um, this person might be um, providing some counsel to you in the way of therapy or just advice on the job regarding the situation. Okay. 
This person is is the type that will be fair. They'll listen to both sides. It could be a mediator or arbitrator or someone uh, of that nature, someone who has worked in the legal field or um, someone has a, an ability to have neutrality, facial neutrality in a situation. So you might be talking to this person uh, or they may be your counselor or an attorney. Okay, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here, indicating there's some problems and instability financially. There's a financial loss. So you're talking to someone regarding, I'm getting a lawsuit, okay, regarding this situation. You got the World card at the bottom of the deck, okay, indicating a missed opportunity. So it could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo um, in this reading or... Scorpio, Pisces, um, or Cancer. So we got heavy on the water and earth here in this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we got the Page of Wands in the reverse. So there's some bad news that you receive regarding a lawsuit and or settlement. You've had to contact someone regarding uh, you know, legal representation and they are being very, uh, you've got a good counselor. If you're wondering whether or not this attorney is, is someone that's going to go to work for you, they will. And they are okay. In this situation, you got the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. You've had a lot of frustration behind this situation. I do believe that this is a workplace situation. Something happened on the job, um, uh, with your employer, your boss and this, um, Spirit is saying not to say too much about this one. Okay, and this came out on a previous reading, too. We've got the Hermit in the reverse here. So, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of reason. Heavy on the Earth sign here in this reading, there's been a whole lot of mistrust, a whole lot of darkness. Um, you've, you've been really made a fool of in the workplace. They've tried to manipulate you, um, and in and they treated you very harshly, okay? And I am getting that this perhaps was more than one person. Yeah, this trickery energy, seven of swords, dishonesty and betrayal. So it could have been a collaboration of people uh, coming together to try to um, uh, bring your downfall on this job. And we've got the devil card in the reverse indicating, you know, just being released from this bondage. You may have been... You may have been released from this position. Uh, you may have been wrongfully terminated from your job or something or forced to resign or something of that nature. But this is for your benefit. You needed to get away from this situation because not only was it bad for your health, it could have also uh, affected you mentally and spiritually. And we've got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck indicating that there's some type of connection here. It could have been an on-the-job romance, something that um, there's some type of entanglement that, you know, ended up turning toxic and not very beneficial to you. Okay. we got the fool card in the uh, reverse here indicating that you're very naive in this situation. You know, you didn't know what you were up against with this person, and they uh, took advantage of you tremendously, okay? And now that you're out of it, you can kind of see it for what it is, okay? But in the end, you're going to get public recognition with this um, six of wands here at the bottom of the deck. Um, could be, um, definitely could be you, Leo, because that's indicating a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Okay, give me more on the situation, Spirit. How's my Leo feeling with all of this? Okay, yeah, you, Ace of Cups in the reverse, you can't believe it happened to you. You're embarrassed by the whole situation. Your emotions are repressed. Um... You can't believe, you know, you just let it happen. You can't believe you got yourself in this situation and what could potentially come out in this lawsuit. We also have the Page of Cups in the reverse. So, um, you know, you just, you're all up in your head about, you know, what you could have done different to avoid this from happening to you. Um, you know, why'd you let it go on for so long? You know, you just, you were like, I could 
freaking kick myself. I can't believe that I was so damn stupid. And it's not about that. Sometimes we love and eyes can't see. And if this person you're very attracted to, um, ugh, damn, very attracted to, very attracted to. This could have been a situation where there's some sexual impropriety. You might have been sexually attracted to this person. There may have been some sex involved. It was. We got the emperor in the reverse here. You were not to say too much about this, but this is a situation where you got entangled with your employer, okay, your boss. And um, it came back to bite you, you know, but, it, it, but to whom much is given, much more is expected. And there is a morality issue here. Um, you know, you are held to a higher standard. This, you may have been a person of authority or position within the company, um, you know, getting involved with your boss is, um, is definitely something you want to try to avoid at all costs. Let's just say that. So what you're going through, yes, you may have contributed to, but the way that it panned out and the way you were manipulated and used in this situation is very unfair, which is why you sought legal counsel and it's going to work out for you. Um, we got the three of wands, so they're preparing a very uh, strong case, a compelling case against this person, um, which may cause dissolution of a marriage and or business. It might bring the whole house down, okay? All right, can I get more on this situation? Thank you, spirit. Too many cards. Okay, we've got this uh, six of pentacles here indicating some justice. And uh, as I've already mentioned, this is going to work out to your benefit. You're, the, the justice system is going to give you a sense of fairness or restore fairness and balance and everything that you've lost. Okay. Huh. And we've got the high priestess here. So, um, yeah, you're seeking a lot of wisdom and you may be, you know, um, you or the person let me get more on this because we've got the five of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck this person is looking this person is using um a spiritual advisor to 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 gain insight onto into what you're thinking they're using a spiritual advisor to create turmoil and to slow things up financially for you so that you have some type of hardship Okay, now the five of pentacles in the reverse, and so you may um, receive a gift or have, have someone assist you through this situation financially because you've lost so much initially with being terminated from your job, and, and this person created a whole lot of issues for you financially, hit you in the pocketbook, and so you may get some assistance from someone, okay, um, to help you through. It could be a family member, a friend, co-worker, something like that. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And then the justice is in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. We got the magician. So someone is, you're manifesting some help or assistance some way. Okay. And it's coming. It's definitely coming. Your financial re relief is, is going to come. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, um, and right now, we, we've got this Five of Swords in the reverse. Right now, it seems like you don't know how this is going to end. You know, things are really tight for you financially, but it's definitely going to work out. You, you feel your strength has been tested. Um, you don't you don't feel strong. You got the star card in the reverse. You, you're disappointed with yourself, your actions, and how this worked. But uh, trust me, it happens more often than not, and um, you can't continue to blame yourself. I want you to be optimistic. Spirit wants you to be optimistic. Everything happens for a reason. we got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So you got some people that may be conspiring against you, um, trying to tell lies and say that, you know, you were the initiator in this event, but it is not going to stick. It's not going to last. It's going to be a lot of conflict. Justice card in the reverse again, indicating that um, there's some dishonesty around you. So there's going to be some lies being told in this case about you to assassinate your character, um, to say that, you know, you 
uh, were the aggressor in the situation to kind of make you appear to be crazy, obsessive, and all of that. This is an interesting uh, reading, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Four of Cups is just talking about how you're feeling right now. Very apathetic um, about certain things. I'm sorry, we've got the Four of Cups in the reverse. So you're, you're, you're trying to pull it together. Ooh, you're trying to pull it together and um, see things differently. Uh, I think you're embarking on a new career. Uh, or at least a new job. And so you're very conscientious about how you go into this new job. You don't want to go in it um, and experience some of the same things. You're, you know, saying to yourself, I'm going to keep to myself. I'm not going to be worried about, you know, trying to fit in um, with the crowd, so to speak. You just want to, you know, keep a low profile because you don't want the situation to happen again, you know. And I think you're real hard on yourself because it did happen, because there are some things that could have kept you out of harm's way, but you kept moving in a different direction. Just having fun, okay? We've got the King of Swords here. So, yeah, you're, you're determined to not put yourself... That damn emperor in the reverse again. You're determined to not put yourself in the same condition again. You know, this emperor is on your ass, so I will say that. This person is really trying to find out as much as they can about you. They're sending private detectives, people coming around your home, um, you know, spying on you, social media platforms, things of that nature. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, you, you definitely are getting a new job. Um, you may have already started this new job and you're going to do really well at it. You're going to be quite successful at it. Okay. Um, and what you want to do is we've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse is to avoid some of that sensuality. And I know it comes natural for you, but you want to just kind of keep to yourself, keep a low profile. Um, you know, Leos are naughty by nature, a little bit uh, flirty too. So you want to make sure that, you know, you don't allow any manipulative tendencies or things, uh, behavior patterns that can be misconstrued. OK, so you want to just be be real tight uh, in, in terms of your professional acumen when you go into this new job. You want to just keep it on the professional side. Business always like they say, you don't eat where you shit and you don't shit where you eat. OK, thank you, spirit. All right, we got the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're slowly releasing yourself from this and recovering from the heartache and pain. This this person was very close to you. This was either a soulmate or a twin flame here. Second or third time that card came up at the bottom of the deck. That uh, person that you work with in the previous job, that boss, um, you felt that this was a very strong connection, like it was... Um, a soulmate and it possibly was we can have many soulmates but it was not the one for you and I think you've learned your karmic lesson regarding this connection yeah yes you got the sun card the happiest card in the deck you're going to be moving on and you're going to be just fine but uh once this whole lawsuit is settled uh this could be present past or future but i am getting this is something that's just, that's presently going on with some of you if this is your reading please let me know put it in the comment section below and uh please continue to support the channel like share subscribe and um, da, 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 da. if you need me for anything, uh, the information to contact me regarding personal readings that I do all on video where I'm able to sense and feel your energy, um, that information will be in the description box below. As always, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.